Hi guys, I'm Gwen Fernandez, your piano teacher and today we're going to learn some interesting stuff on the piano. In this lesson, you're going to learn the C major scale right hand. We're going to learn the song Ode to Joy. And finally, we're going to learn four new chords to play along with the songs that you sing. We're going to learn the C major chord, the G major chord, the F major chord and the A minor chord. So the first thing that we're going to cover is the C major scale. The C major scale starts on C and goes up till the next C. And it happens to be all white keys so you don't have to worry about playing any black notes. Start with your right hand, place the thumb on the C. So finger number one on the C, finger number two on the D, finger number three on the E. Now we're going to tuck our thumb under and put it on the F. You see what I did there? C, D, E, tuck it under, F. I did not play C, D, E, F. One, two, three, four. I played one, two, three, one. Once we do that, all the rest of the fingers are in place to play the scale. So we'll do that again. Finger number one on the C. Two, three, one. Let's try that again. One, two, three, tuck it under. One, two, three, four, five. And now without stopping. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Once again. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Now let's come back down. When coming down, all we're doing is reversing the fingers. Start with finger number five on the C. Step all the way down to your thumb. Once you play the thumb, you cross your middle finger over to the E and complete the scale with 2 and 1. Let's do that again. Cross over. Now let's go up the scale and come down. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. Awesome. So now the exciting part, we're going to learn how to play a new song, Ode to Joy. I'm going to first give you the preview and then we're going to break the song into parts and learn it together. So that's the song. It's pretty simple. You've just got a tiny challenge and that's in the last line. All the rest of it, you've got your thumb on the middle C, your pinky on the G and that will stretch the whole of the tune. So let's start with the first line of the song. You've got to place your finger number one, that's your thumb on the middle C, your finger number two on the D, finger number three on the E, finger number four on the F and finger number five, that's your pinky on the G. The first line you start with the E, your finger number three on the E. E, E, F, G, G, F, E, D. Okay, so let's play that again. Finger number three on the E. E, E, F, G, G, F, E, D. Very good. Now I'm going to say the finger numbers out loud, the finger numbers that I'm using. Three, three, four, five, five, four. Three, two. All right. The second line, you play the C, 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 D, E, E, D, D. Let's take that again. Your thumb on the C, 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 D, E, E, D, D. The finger numbers: one, one, two, three, three, two, two. Now let's take both the lines again. E, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, C, D, E, E, D, D. 
next line is pretty much the same as the first line e e f g g f e d the same thing that we played in the first line now you got to play c c d e d c c so you see our first and the third line is the same there's just a tiny bit difference in the second and the fourth line let's play that again e e f g g f e d c c d e e d d e e f g g f e d c c d e d c c now i want you guys to try it on your keyboard and play along with me 1 2 3 go That's the first part. Now to play the second part, we got to start with our finger number two on the D. All right, so finger number two on the D. D D E C. Okay, that's the first line. D D E C. Finger numbers two, two, three, one. All right. The second line. D E F E C. Once again. D E F E C the finger numbers 2 3 4 3 1 let's play both these lines again D D E C D E F E C okay now the third line is almost the same D E F E D okay so instead of playing a C we played a D now D E F E D So instead of playing a C we play the D now. D E F E D now. For the final line you got to play the C with your thumb. Your finger number 4 will be will go on the D not your finger number 2. So C with your thumb, D with your finger number 4 and come down to G with your thumb again. Okay? So thumb 4 thumb. 1 4 1 C D G All right so let's play the four lines again of part 2 D D E C D E F E C D E F E D C D G And then just jump yourself and go back to the original position and play the first part again A song is ready. So now let's try and play the whole song together. It's a very interesting song, very simple. Let's try it, you and me. One, two, three, go. E E F G G F E D C C D E E D D E E F G G F E D C C So that's the song practice it and i promise you that you'll learn it in no time So now it's time to talk about chords to set you up to play some of your favorite songs In this lesson i'm going to teach you the four most popular chords that you hear in almost you know a lot of songs Those chords are the C the G the F and the a minor so what is a chord basically a chord is a combination of three or more notes played together at the same time 
For example, if I play the C key on the piano, that's just a note. But if I play C, E and G together, you have the chord. All I'm saying that you gotta have two more notes to have a chord. But how do we know which two additional notes to add? Remember when we talked about half steps and whole steps in the previous lesson? That information is gonna come in handy now when we're trying to figure the chord. We're gonna use half steps and whole steps in order to figure out what notes to use to construct any major or minor chord. Before we get started, I wanna just tell you before we do that, I want to just tell you what's the difference between a major chord and a minor chord. For every major chord on the piano, there's a minor chord. There's a difference technically that I'm going to show you later, but there's also a difference in the way they sound. A major chord has a very happy sound, a bright sound. On the other hand, a minor chord has a very dark and a sad sound. Let me give you an example. So this is a C major chord. It sounds nice. It sounds happy. And this is a C minor chord. It sounds a little sad as compared to the major chord. That's the difference. Now let's talk about how to construct the chord. We're going to start with playing our root note. So finger number one of your right hand on the root note. Now if you want to play a C major chord, the root note is going to be the C. Now that we have our root note, we're going to count four half steps up from the root note and find out what's our second note. So this is our root note. We got to climb our four half steps. So one, two, three, four. So E. E is the second note. And now to figure the third note, you're going to climb up three half steps from the E. All right. So one, two, three. That's a G. So together we have C, E and G. Four half steps up from the C, two half steps up from the E, which is the G. So together we play the finger numbers you can use are 1, 3, 5. You can also use 1, 2, 4. I prefer 1, 2, 4, but it totally depends on, you know, what finger numbers make you comfortable. So, there you go. That's the C major chord. C, E, G. And in this manner, you can figure any other chord. Let's try and guess the G major chord, okay? So, you play a root note, G. You climb up four half steps. That's G sharp, A, A sharp and B. Alright? So G and B. And the third, to find the third note, you've got to climb up three half steps. So one, two, three. That's a D. So this is a G major chord. So we know a C major chord and we know the G major chord. G major chord consists of G, B, D. C major chord has C, E, G. And let's let's take another example. Let's know let's learn how to play the F major chord. So you find the root note. What's the root note of the F major chord? Of course, it's going to be the F. And then you're going to play the second note, which is the A, and the third note, which is the C. That's the F major chord. F A C. So let's revise all the three chords. We have the C major chord, we have the G major chord, and we have the F major chord. Now it's time to learn the fourth chord and that's the A minor chord, which means we're going to learn how to play a minor chord. So for the minor chord as well, you've got to find out your root note first. So uh, if you want to play the A minor chord, you've got to find out the root note. That's the A. All right. So we find the A first, but instead of going four half steps on top, we're going to go three half steps from A. So A sharp, B, C. All right, three half steps. One, two, three. We have the C. And now from the C, we're going to go four half steps up. So that's C sharp, D, D sharp, and E. So E is a third note. So we have A, C, and E. In the major chord, you go four half steps and then you go three half steps. But in the minor chord, you first go three half steps on top and then go four half steps. So we have A, C, E. That's our minor chord, A minor chord. So these are your four chords. You got the C major, we got the G major, we got the F major, and now we learned the A minor chord. You can be creative and play these chords in any order. You can play C, G major, F major, A minor. You could also do, you could also do C major, a minor, F major, G major, 
or you could do something like C major, F major, A minor, G major. So it totally depends on you and the song that you're playing that's going to decide what order you're going to play your chords in. So that's it for today guys. Let's quickly revise what we did in today's lesson. We learned the, the C major chord. We learned the song O to Joy. And now finally we learned four new chords C major, A minor, F major and G minor. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next lesson. Till then, take care.